this is Diane with Pig Pants Greenhouse and Gardens and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Uh, we are going to be brewing uh, something really special, something that's going to work really well for my uh, house plants that I have growing and even some of my vegetable plants that I'm going to get started. I have some authentic haven moo poo they call it. It's actually um, a soil conditioner and what it is is just some composted uh, cow manure and I guess show you in the little bags okay this is just a mesh bag that we can float and let it brew in the water for one to three days okay now I have never done this before but I've seen a lot of people doing this online and I thought it would be kind of interesting to see how different it will make my plants uh, if I'll see any difference but this is just a small tiny bag and all you do is submerge this in a one to five gallon uh, uh, five gallons of water I'm gonna actually do a five gallon bucket today I'm gonna let this brew for three days and then we'll come back and look at it on this video okay okay I got my five gallon bucket and basically all we'll do here I'm gonna cut that little string off of there and this does have a string on it here to hold it I'm just gonna let it get submerged in the water and it also says to cover it it's up to you you can cover it let it steep from one to three days I'll probably get something we'll let that set down in there for a little bit and you can see here now already uh, the soil conditioner you can see it, the water's already turning a little brown okay and then we're gonna see what this I'm gonna come back here in a couple days and we're gonna show you what it looks like and and then I'm gonna start feeding it to my house plants my veggie plants stuff that I get started growing in here and it's just supposed to be a really good soil conditioner and you know it's made out of cow manure so you know it has to be good it, it, this is an organic uh, cow manure and we'll just kind of wait it out and see but you can see it already um, it's already turning brown a little bit which you know which will what it will do and um, probably in in a couple days it's going to be a lot darker so we'll come back then I'll do a little more video and we'll show you how it worked out okay I thought I'd show you it's only been about 20 minutes and look at the tea brewing it's I just lay and letting the bag lay in there and it is really making some great tea I'm really excited to use it on my plants, but I also want to talk to a little bit about where this uh, Mupu manure tea comes from. Uh, havens raise their livestock as closely to the way Mother Nature intended them to be raised on native grass pastures. Havens livestock are free of hormones, added grains, antibiotics, and pesticides. Um, you can once this things once this is brewed for one to three days, you can use it on your house plants, container plants. Vegetable garden, shrubs, lawns will thrive when the condition when you condition the soil with Haven's natural brew tea. Simply put, uh, Haven's natural brew tea it conditions the soil so your plants' root systems can absorb better nutrition nutrients needed to build a strong, healthy root base, and that's very important. Always want to have a strong, healthy root base, and that is what's going to make your plants thrive you place it just as I did in a one to five gallon container fill with water you can cover it allow it to steep for one to three days okay use every time you water or at least four times during the gross growing season so what do you think I'm gonna come we'll come back in in a few days and I'm gonna show you how dark it got and then we're gonna start watering some plants with it we'll see you then Okay, I just wanted to show you, I got one, this is one full day of brewing the, the manure tea bag in the water and you can see, look how much it's changed. I can use this right now in my watering, but I'm going to wait a couple more days and then use it at the beginning of the week. So, this is day two of the Moo Poo brewing and as you can see, it's getting darker every day. Okay, this is day three, and this is the final day. After this today, I'm going to be taking, I'm going to be watering on my plants. Monday and Tuesday is water day, and that is the day I will use this composted manure tea. 
All right, today's watering day, and I'm going to my moo poo manure tea is ready to go. And I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This has been three days brewing, and I'm going to be watering all my plants today, my indoor plants. And uh, this ought to be great fertilizer, uh, nutrient rich soil conditioner for all my plants. So let's get watering. So anybody can make this manure tea, brew this manure tea mix. Um, anybody can do it. It's easy, it's convenient, and I tell you, these ferns are going to be loving it. This manure tea is easy to use, safe, convenient, and I think I'm going to love it. And you can do it in the convenience of your home, but right now I'm just going to, today's watering day, and I'm just going to kind of give everybody a shot of it. All the house plants that I got. And, you know, that I have here. Here's my large spider plant. I'm also going to feed it with the Moo Poo tea today. I'm also using the Moo Poo tea on my succulents. I kind of like to water my succulents a little bit once a week. It's starting to get pretty dry in the house. But I think this Moo Poo tea is really going to help these to grow, stay greener. Um, the root system is going to be developing much faster. And there's, you know, it's nice to have or, organic fertilizer to use on your plants. There's nothing better than it. I do my watering once a week try to stay on a schedule so well that's about it just wanted to show you I'm watering with my tea, the brew that I the tea brew that I made you know it took about three days to make it did not have to t do it for three days but I decided to let it set and I did it in my basement they also say to you can you know leave it set in the sun but it seemed to work this way also, so it's very easy to use. Very easy to brew and use. So I'm back in my patio, and I just want to show you all the plants I'm going to be using the Moo tea on. I have a lot of them back here. These are all plants that I bring in. As you can see, I have a load of plants. And this is just great organic fertilizer and I'm going to be appreciative of it in the winter months. I'm also going to be using it on some edibles so you stay tuned to my videos and I will be showing you how they perform how they do on my edible herbs and tomato plants so make sure you keep following my videos subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and we'll talk to you on the next video.